pretty great. I mean, this is a book that has, or books that have really influenced my life to such a so, large extent. That yeah. It's wonderful to be kind of back here. I don't know. I think that they stayed with me on such a kind of basic level, on such a subconscious level, that I really don't know with what to credit them. I think it's probably a safe bet to say that they had something to do with it, um, but it's difficult to kind of pinpoint. Know what route, yeah. Know, sure. But but I, I but I think they definitely played a part. Yes, I think that that is something that is so incredibly important and that if we don't learn to read fiction as children, um, it will lead really to an impoverished life all the way through. We learn so much from fiction. There's even, tying it back to psychology, there are even studies that show that fiction is what teaches us empathy, teaches us to think like other people, to really get out of ourselves and into the minds of others, I think. It couldn't possibly be more important. It gives you a bigger picture. Yes. Really, than yes. all the TV screens and the game consoles. Oh yeah, I mean, I just, I hope that books stay just as important in children's lives as they were in mine. And they love, kids love books, don't they? They, they do. They love it. They love book time, it's bedtime. They do, they love story time. I mean, kids love stories. Yeah, and I know, kids. You just need to cultivate that love. <laughs> Sure. So the brain attic is Sherlock Holmes' analogy for the human mind, for how we take in information, how we store that information, and then ultimately how we will access that information. And you can really have two sorts of attics. You can have an attic like Dr. Watson's, which is basically a junkyard. You throw any anything up there and you're not really sure where it is. You just kind of put it up. You're like, oh, it's the attic. I have all the space in the world. And ultimately, you're going to run out of space and you won't be able to find what you wanted to because yeah you didn't properly store it. Mm -hmm. Then you have the Sherlock Holmes attic, which is very mindful. It's an attic where he really takes the time to know what he's putting in there. And if it's worthy of being put up in his attic, he will label it properly. He will tag it properly. He makes sure it goes in the right box with all of the proper encoding. Because each way that he chooses to encode it, so the more that he can tie it to the existing contents of his attic, his own personal experience, the more labels he can put on it, the more likely he'll be able to be, to access it later. I think they're doing a very good job at getting our interest in the maximum way possible. That's not necessarily a good thing because these are all added distractions for us. Mm -hmm. And if there's one thing Sherlock Holmes teaches us, it's that distractions are a bad thing. Mm -hmm. And we should really learn to focus and to avoid as much as possible these push notifications, the pings, the, the noise of modern life. So it's trying to focus it down. To yeah, I mean, Sherlock Holmes would never multitask. If you look at Benedict Cumberbatch in the modern uh, series, he doesn't answer his cell phone. He no. only uses it when he needs to, so normally he has to borrow Watson's. And Watson can never reach him when he needs to because Sherlock Holmes is focusing on something else and so he won't be disturbed. Well, it's, a, it's quite related to what we were just talking about. Um, it's the power of the quiet mind, of the mind that's not distracted, that knows how to concentrate. That really, when, we're, when we take that time to focus on one thing at a time, we become much more productive than we are when we think we're multitasking. Um, multitasking is not a good thing. It's not a productive thing. It's not something Sherlock Holmes would do. Mm. Not something we should do either. We slow down, everybody. Yes, <laughs> yes. That's lovely. Slow down the world. <laughs> Thank you very much for taking the time out to talk to us today. Thank you. It's Thank been you. a pleasure. Great.